guys welcome back to techdoz and in this video we will look at design a number container system which is from lead code number 2349 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem we are asked to design a number container system that can do the following insert or replace a number at a given index in the system return the smallest index for the given number in the system implement the number containers class in such a way that number containers initializes the number container system void change index comma number fills the container at index with the number if there is already a number at the given index then we need to replace that number the integer find with the given number returns the smallest index for the given number or it will return minus 1 if there is no index that is filled by the number in the system so if you look at the first example in this case the numbers container is actually Uh, the initializer for the number container system and after this initially we have not inserted any item and we are trying to find 10 so if you try to find 10 then it will return minus 1 because there is no 10 present right actually there is no item present now we are implementing change 2 comma 10 so what change was giving it was giving at what index what number will go so let's say at index 2 we have number 10 okay so uh, we have applied that by change again we are calling change so it is saying at index 1 we will have number 10 as well now we are again calling change saying that at index 3 we will have number 10 again again we are calling change at index 5 we will have number 10 and now we are calling find for 10 so the find for 10 should return if 10 is present or not first you have to check it okay yes 10 is present at least one 10 is present then out of all the options you have to return the one with the smallest index and that is why it is returning one as a result okay the change will not be returning anything it is a, a void function as you can check here now if you again uh, implement change then it is saying that at index 1 uh, i mean you replace the value change the value to 20 and then again you are finding for 10 now you check if 10 is present yes 10 is present there are th uh, three tens present and they are present at index 2 3 5 out of all these available options which one is smallest the 2 is smallest and that is why 2 is the result okay so i think this problem statement should be clear now let's look at the constraint in this particular case the index can range from 1 to 10 to the power of 9 as well as the number range is also the same but uh, we have at max 10 to the power 5 calls which will be uh, made in total combining the change and the find api okay now let's uh, look at the goal we are given two apis the change and find in the change we are given the index and the number which indicates at the given index which number to be saved right so we will be saving at index idx we will be saving the value number right now if you want to implement this uh, we certainly have two options one way is to go with the hash map technique and another way is to use the array technique in the hash map technique you can go with the simple kv pair where you can keep the key as the index and or the value to be the number so simply whenever uh, you are giving let's say change 2 comma 10 then you can insert it into the kv pair saying 2 comma 10 right where key is the index and the value is actually the number otherwise you can also implement it using the array implementation where the key will be the array index and the value will be the array at that given index so if you want to implement this 2 comma 10 then uh, you can take a large enough array size and so at index 2 you can insert the value 10 so this will act like a key and the value will be actually the element which is stored in the array right if you want to uh, i mean save this at index 5 we need to have value 3 at index 5 we need to have value 3 so store 3 at index 5 in the map simply you can just provide another entry 5 comma 3 now if you look at these two techniques then basically in the hash map technique the hash map technique uh, it is actually space efficient because the space complexity taken by the hash map will actually depend on the number of entries exactly present but if you look at the array technique first we have to define the max size of the array and you know that from the problem statement the max size is 10 to the power of 9 because the index can range from 1 to 10 to the power of 9 so you will end up making maybe the array to be of size 10 to the power of 9 and therefore you might not use all those indices because maximum calls are only 10 to the power of 5 so the entire array will be very sparse and it is a space of inefficient technique right 
so can we actually use array well we cannot use array and the reason is the index and number both are in the range of 1 to 10 to the power of 9 and so the max index range is 10 to the power 9 so if you think about what is the integer size if you take it to be 4 bytes then the total space taken for 10 to the power 9 size array will be 10 to the power 9 times of 4 bytes and you know 10 to the power 9 is 1g so you can just multiply it and get 4gb space so that will give you definitely a memory limit exceeded so that is why uh, we will not be going with the array technique but we will be going with the hash map technique so in order to save all the values at a given index we will be using a simple kv pair where the key will be the index and the value will be the number okay so we got an idea of how to implement the change let's now look at how to implement the find well uh, for the change we had seen we will be using the hash map uh, with the index as the key and the value will be the number that will be stored for the given key but for the find operation it will try to find given a number at what smallest index is that number present and if that number is not present then we need to return minus one okay so if i want to uh, search by number then i should have key based on number right but previously the hash map which i have created is having the key based on index so how can we search based on number so we need an inverted map where the second map will be having the number as key and the index will be the value now if we do this kind of implementation then we'll be uh, take a simple kv pair now in this case if you look at an example and if we call the change 5 comma 2 then in the first hash map uh, which is for index number i will call it just the index number hash map in this particular case you can just save that at index 5 we need to store value 2 in the second hash map i will just call it number index because this is just the inverted map and in this case number 2 is stored at index 5 now let's say i i check the second constraint as well which is uh, in, at index 3 you have number 10 and the number 10 is stored at index 3 and the third constraint is uh, at index 4 you have number 2 and here the number 2 is stored at index 4 so this will be overwriting it right but you know that for according to the problem there can be multiple uh, same numbers present at different different indices and that is why i cannot just take a number index but we have to take a list of index instead of taking a number index okay now let's say we have taken a list index so i will be storing four here okay because two is occurring not just at five but it is also occurring at four right the storage is complete now if i have to implement the find then it is trying to find if the number is present yes if I apply find on 2, you can just check that the key 2 is present. So the number 2 is present. But our goal is not just to find if 2 is present, but also to find what is the smallest index of this 2. So I will end up iterating through this entire list and finding out the smallest index value. And that can be in the worst case order of n. If you do linear search every time, right? Even if you sort it, it will take even more time, which will be n log n, right? Otherwise, there is another strategy that you could have kept it sorted in such a way that, uh, I mean, you can just apply insertion sort and that will be for every insertion, it will take order of n. So it is not better than the linear search, right? So in this way, if you do linear search, then the find operation will be taking order of n time and the change will take order of one time because appending at the end of the list is considered order of one, right? So can we optimize this solution? Well, if you think about it carefully, then yes, we can optimize this solution by using sorted data structure. Let's say you can use sorted set. Okay, we can go for sorted set. So if you insert this 4 comma 5 in a sorted set, you know sorted set is implemented with a red black tree, which is a balanced binary tree, or you can say a balanced BST, right? So in the red black tree, the insert operation, the search operation, the erase operation, all these operations are considered log n. Okay, because the height of the tree is log n. And that is why if you insert all these into a sorted set, then you can always get the minimum value in very less time, right? So if you insert it in a sorted set, getting the minimum value is actually getting the beginning of the sorted set. And that is considered order of one because that is the beginning item, the first item itself. But insertion and erasing the item will be log n, right? 
so i will be going with that idea i will be using a sorted set because that will be uh, optimizing everything so having understood all the design choices let's now look at a dry run so in this particular case i will be defining an unordered map of integer integer type which will be mapping uh, the kkv pair from index to number and the second map will be integer to set integer type which will be mapping the given number present at what all indices in a sorted set right so this is the first hash map and this is the second one now let's uh, try to do the dry run so the change is coming on the given index 5 and the number is 2 so at index 5 we need to store number 2 so number 2 is present at index 5 fine now let's say a change is coming uh, for 3 okay so at at index 3 the number 10 is present so number 10 is present at index 3 change is coming for 4 comma 2 so at index 4 number 2 is present so number 2 is present at index 4 so 4 is inserted into the sorted set now we are uh, doing the find operation so in this case the find on number 2 will actually be checking this entire uh, index so in this case if I, I i will be able to find that okay 2 is present in o1 time in average time o1 right uh, so 2 if 2 is present then get the beginning item of this sorted set and that will be 4 so 4 will be returned as an answer here now for the next query a change is coming for index 3 and this needs to be uh, saving a value 6 but index 3 is already present in the first map right this means maybe some other value is present so yes 10 is present so what we have to do is if we override this value 10 with with a new value of 6 then this 10 will be lost so we have to remove this particular index 3 from the second map so in the second map look at the uh, value 10 and remove this particular index 3 from it if you remove it you see that this set becomes empty and if the set becomes empty you have to remove this entry altogether from the second map because maybe later in the find operation you will see that this entry is present and you might not return minus one and for that reason i will be erasing it altogether erasing is log n time in the red black tree and now uh, i will be saving six here so six is contained at index three now a find is coming for 10 now if a find comes for 10 then i'll be checking where is 10 present so the 10 entry is not present in the second map so that means i will be returning minus one because this value 10 is not present it is now overwritten because this 10 was present at index 3 and at index 3 we have overwritten the value with 6 so 10 was lost now let's say a change is coming for 4 comma 7 so at index 4 i want to save 7 but index 4 i ha i already have 2 so what i do is i will be going to the value 2 and remove this index so 4 will be removed from the set now is the set size 0 no it is greater than 0 so that means i don't need to remove it and now you come back and override this value 2 to 7 and when, once you do that then make an entry for 7 and and the value 7 is present at index 4 okay now we are doing a change for 8 comma 2 so that means at index 8 we will have an entry uh, for value 2 so for value 2 i will be inserting a new index which is 8 and if a find comes for 2 then i will be finding in the second hash map the value 2 is present so at least there is one index and out of these two indices get the beginning item of the sorted set which you can find in order of one time so it will return 5 and that is why 5 will be the answer so this is the entire idea uh, behind using the forward hash map and the inverted hash map right and uh, implementing it using two hash map techniques if you look at the time complexity then for the change operation the time complexity will be log n because whenever a change is coming for the given index i and the new number number then in the first hash map at i we have to insert the number so i will assume that in an unordered map this was order of one time and there was another map which was number to all the indices right so in that case i will be going to the number and then i will be inserting the index right inserting the index and maybe i have to remove an index too if i am trying to overwrite it as i had sh uh, shown already so erasing inserting all of these in a sorted set is log n so this is the most time taking process and that is why each of the change operation will be taking log n and each of the find operation will be taking order of one because what find is doing we just have to uh, find if the number entry is present in the second hash map which is the inverted hash map if it is not present return minus one and that will be order of one to check the key 
and if the key is present then just get the beginning value of the sorted set and that is also considered order of one so each of the find operation will be order of one so if you want to define q number of queries over it then you can just multiply q with q into log n plus one which will be equivalent to order of q times of log n right because all the queries may be insert or erase type so this is the time complexity in the red black tree and the space complexity will be order of n because for every insertion or update or change we are doing double entry one entry is in the first hash map another entry is in the inverted hash map right so maybe you can say 2n so it will be equivalent to n so i hope the complexity is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem i have defined the unordered map index number which is the forward map and the number indices which is the inverted map now if you look at the change code then here an index and the number is coming so simply i have to overwrite that if the uh, index is already inserted then overwrite if it is not inserted just insert the index with the given number right so first of all i will be checking if the index is already present that means if there is already a certain value then what i will do is i will go to the inverted table and for that value i will be removing this particular index at which it is present because it may be present at multiple indices so at least this index have to be removed from the set so that is what i am doing here and after this operation whether the value entry was present or not present i will simply be overwriting the value or inserting the value so in the first hash map i will be inserting at index number just uh, get the number and in the number indices at the given value right whatever is the new value so number is the new entry right value was the previous entry so at number get the index entry so that is what we will be doing for the change and we have already seen that each of the change operation will be log n operation right now for the find operation if the number is coming then we have to just check if the entry is present in the map if it is not present uh, that means we need to return minus one if the entry is present then just get the beginning item which will be the smallest index and just return it so this is order of one so i hope uh, this code is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.